What's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Oman and today's analysis video is going to be about Jose Mourinho and his first game in charge at Tottenham. So Mourinho took charge of Tottenham's first game on Saturday against West Ham, which they won by 3-2. Even though Mourinho has only been at Tottenham for less than a week, but there were clear changes in Tottenham's playing style against West Ham. So this is how Mourinho lined up his team for the game against West Ham. A 4-2-3-1 formation which often shifted to 3-2-4-1 with possession. Dele Alli was playing at the number 10 position and his job was to exploit the spaces in between the lines and try to link up with his number 9 and the two wide wingers. Harry Winks was playing as a box-to-box -box midfielder but unlike a typical box-to-box -box midfielder who often makes runs in the opposition goal box, Harry Winks was mainly given the job of finding Dele Alli in between the lines while Eric Dyer was playing like a typical holding midfielder. Dyer was staying back and his job was to provide protection to his defense. With possession, Sun kept his width on the left wing while Lucas Moura often moved to the central zone to open the spaces on the right flank for the run of Ori. Ori would often move up to occupy the right wing while Ben Davis was staying back to make a back three with possession. And thus Tottenham often had a formation of 3-4-1 with possession. 5 men on the offensive side and 5 men on the defensive side. A very nice balance on both ends of the ground. So here we can see the complete picture of Tottenham's 3-2-4-1 formation with possession. Sun is keeping the width on the left flank while Lucas Moura has moved narrow to open the gap for Aurier. One fullback is moving up while the other one is staying back to make a back 3 with possession to keep the defensive stability on transitions. Once again, Sun keeps his width on the left flank and Lucas Moura has once again moved to the central zone to open the space for Aurier on the right flank. Using the full width of the pitch, but on one end, the width is given by the winger while on the other side, the width is given by the fullback. Lucas Moura was almost playing like a second striker and he was constantly making central runs to get in the box. And his central position was allowing Aurier to move up and get into the wide spaces on the right flank. Once again, Lucas Moura's central position has forced the fullback to move narrow and Aurier is now free to run in the space. Aurier was moving up while Ben Davis was staying back and this way Tottenham had three men at the back to defend on transitions. Dele Alli was playing at the number 10 spot and his job was to play in between the lines and find small pocket of spaces to make the play for Tottenham. West Ham's midfield line is broken and a gap is available. Dele Alli read the situation and he immediately dropped behind the midfield line to receive the pass from Harry Winks. Almost all of the teams that Jose Mourinho has managed are often known for their quickness on counter-attacks. And we saw a little glimpse of that quickness against West Ham. Mourinho is more of an old-school manager and unlike the modern-day managers who want their teams to build from the back, Mourinho likes to go with a more direct approach that involves a target man.
it will take some time for Mourinho to fully install his playing philosophy at Tottenham, but some of the changes were very clear in their game against West Ham. So do you think Mourinho will succeed at Tottenham? Comment below and let me know. Thank you so much guys for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.